Ant versus Jimmy Braddock. All right, now, I know Jimmy told me before he's a very um, ride or die when it comes to his main Sheik. <laughs> no, yeah. Because uh, no matter what happens, he's going to stick with her, you know. And, I mean, mad respect for that. His Sheik's pretty sick, so I can't complain at all. And we have Ant here probably whipping out the Krom, or maybe. I, I'm or pretty Inkling. sure you've dropped Inkling, right? For the most part. <laughs> I mean, it's it's there. It's in your pocket. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Krom versus Sheik is something I haven't seen before. I really want to see how that goes. Because uh, Krom, out of all the sword character besides Lucina, I'd say he's one of the best. Because, mm -hmm. you know, he has a really fast air speed, has a lot of aerial drift. Um, just fast, a lot of stage presence, you know, his moves are very strong. And uh, But his recovery is not the best. Yeah, just why when I think of this matchup, I just think, oof, for Sheik. <laughs> but. If, if anybody um, was going to be able to pull this matchup off, it will be Jimmy. He's been with this character like since Smash 4 and really wants to make it work in this game. So let's see, as we go into Pokemon Stadium 2 for game number one, he's starting off swinging. Mm -hmm. All right, trying to get that stage pressure. A lot of forward airs coming out from Jimmy here to try and uh, get him off the sides. All right, rapid jab as well. Jimmy's playing a very good neutral right now, trying to uh, just kind of realizing what his options are and trying to uh, pressure and all right up B coming out that's a very good option to try, like out of shield or you know trying to catch them off a whip because that's like a free like 20 25 percent that you can just get right there and it has oh, a yeah. considerable amount of uh, initial knockback too so which is enough to kind of uh, take back center stage you know just try and like a control neutral you know Jimmy playing Cheek like it's Greninja a little bit. Some of these up air drag downs. The bouncing fish, reverse edge guard, very nice. Not not quite hitting the sweet spot uh, up smash though. Oh, the armor, not quite um, the armor from his up B. Extremely even at this point, but of course Sheik so light. Oh, that's oh, actually a down good tilt. poke. Oh, Ooh, that was really close. Now if he didn't tech that, he would have been dead. Oh, and the up B, yeah. Uh, okay, that will B, eventually kill, eh? Uh, yeah, the, uh, when the up B usually hits a platform, it kills a lot earlier than, say, the ground. Yep, for sure. Like I'd say around 120, 130 on some characters. The lighter they are, you know, the easier they get killed, but it does have, like I said, it has a lot of uh, initial knockback, but not a lot of knockback scaling. Oh Forward my god, he died really at 43! <laughs> nice call out coming out from Ant here. Alright, if that was the, not the most chic life thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, Sheik um, didn't get the best treatment coming from Smash 4 to Smash Ultimate, but... I mean, some things haven't changged either. Like, 122, you gotta have a kill percent, but what do you use? Oh, oh my no! God, the two frame, three stock coming out from Ant Game 1. Why didn't that snap? <laughs> oh, oh my. God. I mean, good job on Ant to just punish that instantly, but oh, oh my, yeah. why didn't that snap? A very proactive Chrome player. I played against him a lot in Wi-Fi, and I know he's very oppressive when he can get neutral in his favor. He knows, like, how many of your options he can punish and which one you're going to pick. So, and he's going to play accordingly based on that. For sure. So, very, uh, very calculated player. Now, at the beginning of this game, Jimmy started off with a wolf. Granted, Sheik was in a worse position a couple patches ago. Mm -hmm. But still, do we see the wolf come out now or just keep sticking the Sheik? Gonna keep the same stage, going back to Pokemon Stadium. Hmm. Now, like we've seen already. Nope. Gonna try it again. Mm -hmm. Neutral can go very back and forth between the two players here. I mean, granted, both of those, like, those last two stocks were just unfortunate, like, yeah. worst case scenario spots. Just happen to line up back to back, but... Yep. It's still scary when you're dying off the side of 43. That's kind of crazy, but let's try this again. Game number two. Same character, same stage. So let's see if Jimmy can get himself a different result. Okay. All right, starting off strong here. Call out with the F smash, getting some early damage on the Sheik. And uh, we're trying to see if uh, Ant can get these. Oh, very nice string there. Wow, that was cool. And just topping it off with the upbeat, just adding on so much damage. Oh, yeah. Just, uh, you know, finishing off any combo with up B is pretty good because you get that nice chunk of damage right at the end. Just it sounds good whenever he hits him with his sword. <laughs> mm. hey, 
Jim's still on the chase, but dash attack kind of overextends himself, getting himself a lot of damage, 92 now. Krom's Nair 1 is a pretty good combo starter because it doesn't have much knockback. It's, right. uh, it's Nair 2 that knocks him back as far as it does. So, oh, the no. up coming out, Ooh, going high, but not quite hitting the corner yet. The down air, trying to contest the stage here. Thank God he didn't deal dash that attack coming but out. Oh, he's gone. That's going to kill. Yep. Yeah. Krom's dash attack is very strong. Can kill a lot of characters from like 115, 130, kind of that range at the edge. Honestly, if I was Jim, I would just be playing lame as hell. I'd be playing with needles all day in this matchup. But yeah. since uh, since Krom is a sword character, he doesn't do well with uh, being camped. But you know, Jimmy Sheik is very aggressive. You have to respect that. A lot of uh, trying to start up a combo, trying to get a good string going, and finish that off with maybe a bouncing fish. He does manage to get back safely, looking for the Jimmy special with <laughs> the call out of the MP, but it didn't quite work. Up throw, okay. Up throw at certain percentage can be a kill throw, but you can't really count on sword characters to have that kind of power. I think most of the Fire Emblem guys, like around 150, you can start expecting up throw to kill. Maybe except for Robin. Robin exactly. is the only one with a kill throw, but when yeah. this isn't Robin, this is Krom and Sheik, so. Oh, both those grab this mission, and oh, that's the forward smash call out, very nice. Smash. Will we see another three stock this game? But a lot of the things I want never really happen, so I can't be sure. Okay, that's oh, a the up air not quite killing though. Yeah, a lot of One Sheik's kill hit. power is gone. The up smash, that was a strange option. I'm actually you really surprised he didn't down smash that. I think he might have meant for an up tilt there, because I know he does play with the smash stick rather than the uh, rather than the tilt stick. Now Ant's shield's actually relatively worn at this point. Nair Probably one got again. It back now. Oh, no, didn't quite see the up B there. That would have been cool. <laughs> Jab. Oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. Oh, oh he's, he's good. good. He's fine. <laughs> oh, and that's not the way you want to win. That's, I mean, that's unfortunate coming up with Jimmy there. But, and with two three stocks in a row. And now I believe it is our set, so I will go play Captain K. All right, good luck. Have fun. Well,. I hate to see that happen, but, but at the same time, I won't lie, I'm relatively happy because this at least means that I'm the, the only one who's gotten double three stopped on stream recently. <laughs> but still, nicely done there from Ant as we move into our next game where we have Pharaoh coming back, but this time versus Captain K. Likely going to see Incineroar Shulk, unless we see the wolf come out from from Pharaoh. Real quick, trying to take a look at.